What's up guys, how you doing? Happy Monday, this is Dufour from Room 39. Hey guys, um, you know, just enjoy this experience. Um, stay positive, uh, we'll be back in this room shortly. Hey, so you know how I talked about having a classroom gallery? Well, this is it, what, a, what better time, right? So we're gonna just go around the classroom and share some of your wonderful, wonderful art to cheer you up. All right, so let's begin. So hey kiddos, at the beginning of the year, as you guys remember, we began learning about self-portraits using watercolor. How crazy to think this was seven months ago. As you guys remember, our uh, Van Gogh lesson, we incorporated it with desert biomes, um, those wildflowers and the super bloom. And boy, you guys nailed that piece of artwork. Um, we were really lucky this last month to have Miss Millie come in and she taught us about tertiary colors. We have been experiencing or experimenting with uh, the primary colors, but she took it one step further and talked about blending two primary colors and creating tertiary colors. And you guys once again rocked that. Uh, we had some fun with different polygons and geometric shapes, and you guys uh, had some opportunity to use some um, hands-on tools and create a variety of objects with polygons. You guys remember our Dolly, Salvador Dolly artist study um, with watercolor and really uh, ex a a practicing elongating those, e those legs. He had an amazing style. You know, we've experimented with a lot of different mediums, uh, watercolor, oil pastel, colored pencils, charcoal, tempera paint, watercolor. And so um, this was a mixed media. We even used uh, different magazines and, and objects and created a mixed media a piece of art, which turned out really cool. One of the first lessons we did, we learned about George Seurat. I'm a big fan of Seurat um, and his pointillism. So take a look, all those little dots come together and make a really neat masterpiece. Claude Monet, as you guys know, super famous. <laughs> his paintings sell for tens of tens of millions of dollars. Uh, this was the Japanese tea garden that we, uh, or sorry, not tea garden, but garden that we uh, <laughs> um, studied. Uh, next, we have M.C. Escher. He used a lot of different repetitive objects and made a really neat style. Um, you guys obviously are fans of uh, Pixar, and so we uh, learned about the history of Pixar and um, used some tutorials on YouTube to create uh, that style. Um, this is an artist um, known as Mondron, uh, Piet, Piet Mondron, um, and he used a lot of different rectangular shapes um, and squares. Um, as you guys know, he came from New York, and so um, these cities, the blocks of cities, kind of inspired him to do this. Who doesn't love Jackson? Jackson Pollock, man, uh, we had a blast. We went outside, uh, made a mess, uh, flicking, splattering, dripping paint. And as you can see, um, these turned out amazing. This is something I'll remember with you guys outside Jackson Pollock. Some of you guys' shirts uh, ended up uh, looking just like the masterpieces. Um, once again, Miss Millie came in uh, four times throughout uh, um, this last month, uh, and we uh, used oil pastel on black. Um, construction paper. The, the colors came out amazing. Look how amazing these are. Oil pastel on black construction paper. And you know, if you guys uh, have some time uh, over these next few weeks, ask mom and dad to jump on Amazon, maybe get a, a set of oil pastel. It's pretty cheap. Get some black construction paper and have fun. Um, last uh, couple weeks ago, we uh, celebrated um, Dr. Seuss's birthday, Ted Geisel. And as you guys can see, um, we duplicated some of his artwork. So hey, kiddos, as you can see, um, I am in the classroom. I just uh, cleaned off, disinfected, and got all of the de devices ready for rollout. Um, hopefully in these next week or two, um, the district leaders are going to disperse these. So um, that'll make things a little easier at home. Um, as you guys know, um, we have uh, spent a huge amount of time learning these different platforms, and uh, you guys are really in good hands. There's a lot of schools and school districts that have not uh, practiced using these platforms, and now they're trying to roll them out, and kids clearly um, just don't know what to do. So we've done this. Well, like I said, um, I'm really confident that with all your practice, your hard work, your dedication in this room these last seven months, um, you're going to do fine these next couple months. Hey, looking forward to seeing you guys. 
do four out. <laughs>